Hello and welcome to this week's video. So after a rather interesting um, couple of weeks, I wanted to talk to you about ways to reduce your anxiety, or at least face those fears. And okay, all right, some of you might be thinking, well, uh, what fears are these? Because I get anxiety that just happens about anything. Because it happens, doesn't it? You know, you get those um, those lovely NHS questionnaires or whatever, you know, circle how many times in the past two weeks have you felt? And the anxiety one often comes with the delightful question of just having a feeling that something bad is going to happen. You know, it doesn't say what. I mean, it could be anything from you're going to stub your toe tomorrow to the world's going to end. But we get that feeling. But what about those things that you know make you anxious? I'll give you an example. Aside from going out of the house, because I don't really like doing that. I'll do it if I have to, but I don't really like doing that. I really, really, really don't like needles. That's right, needles. Um, so any kind of jab or blood test whatever, don't like it. But, I know that I've got to kind of get used to it, for want of a better word. Because, how many times do we have to have a jab? Or, what happens if you have an accident and you're going to have stitches? You need to kind of get used to the needle. So I felt that it was very important for me to face that fear. So, last week, I went and did a blood donation. Now, I have done them before, but it was something that I've always taken somebody along because I don't like doing it, and you probably won't be able to see very well, but I get eczema around there quite a bit. And so sometimes, they refuse to take me. But last week, I decided, okay, it's booked, I'm gonna go. Okay, if they refuse me, fine. But I'm going to give it a go. And I went completely on my own. Then, I mean, it, it went fine and all of that, you know, just to add that. But it was the point of actually going on my own to something that I know causes me anxiety. Then, I had the delightful... Uh, occurrence on Sunday, just gone, where um, I was washing up, washing up one of these nice big uh, wine glasses, and I don't know what happened, I don't know why, but it just shattered in my hand. And there should be a picture of the offending glass somewhere on this screen. But then, you know, I ended up having to go to A&E. Well, we first went to the minor injuries unit, and they kind of turned around and said, is their glass still in it? I don't know. Okay, you're going to have to go to A&E because they're going to have to x-ray it. Great. So we go to A&E, they x-ray it, which is great because I'm still bleeding all over the place at this point. And then, I don't know whether you can see, but got lovely stitches now as well. But again, that was another needle. And yet I did it. Now, facing those anxieties, figuring out how to overcome them, I'm not saying for one minute that you have to go and break a wine glass. Because that was just painful, it's made a right mess. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of all the way up there, in there, you know, a couple of other cuts. I wouldn't recommend it. But, think for a moment about something else that you could do. I'll give you an example. Somebody who I've been chatting to on Twitter had come back after I mentioned about doing the blood donation. And said, well, do you know what? I don't like going out of the house, so I've decided, because of this, because of what you've said, I'm going to take a walk. I'm going to go out of my comfort zone, and I'm going to do a walk. And I thought, you know what, that's a great idea. What is it that gives you anxiety? And why not expose yourself to that a little bit? I mean, like, like that person on Twitter said, it doesn't have to be a long walk. Can just be, you know, five minutes around the block. Build it up slowly. The same way you do, then you hear about all of these, you know, the couch to 5k, couch to 10k um, apps that you can do for 
running an exercise and it builds you up little by little. So, what is it that you could do today or tomorrow to start reducing anxiety's hold over you? Something small. Something that might even seem silly and insignificant to somebody else. But something that you could do. And at this point, it's very important to mention, I said something that might seem small and insignificant to somebody, they don't matter, all right? This is between you and your anxiety. Because something that might be quite easy for somebody else isn't necessarily easy for you, is it? I can think of quite a few people who I know who would say, yeah, needle, no problem, go for it, fine. And yet I really struggle with that. So, what could you do that is important to you to start eroding anxiety's hold? And here's the kicker. You don't have to do it on your own. Okay? I know I said I went to the blood donation on my own, but how many times have I been before? Probably about five. Okay, they didn't always take me, but how many times have I been? How many times have they tried? Because the time before last, they actually missed the vein. So I'm sat there with a the needle sticking out my arm, not actually donating. But then, I'd taken people with me. It might seem silly and insignificant, you know, just a, a little scratch and sit in the chair for however many minutes. But I'd taken people with me. I'd built myself up to the point where I could go on my own. So I'll leave you with that thought. What could you do to help reduce your anxiety? And perhaps set yourself a little challenge this week or next week. Something that you could do. And this is the thing. Set yourself a time frame. Say where you are now, where you want to be. And what could you do? That's all from me. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, don't forget to check out the website. We have our Borderline Personality Disorder Awareness Week next week. So on the video on Wednesday you will not be seeing my face. You'll be seeing our, um, our guest vlogger Sarah Cardwell who is actually nominated for a couple of awards. So I can't quite remember where you go but I'll put the link in the description. Definitely go check that out, see if you can vote for her, because I'm sure she'd appreciate that. Um, but it'll be Sarah Cardwell with you next Wednesday, and Cheryl and I will be doing a live video on the Sunday. That'll be Sunday the 19th, okay? But you're going to want to go and check out all that we've got coming up for you. All right, it should be pushingbacktheshadows.com forward slash borderline personality disorder awareness, I think. I will put the link on the bottom and in the description for you as well. Also, thank you to our patrons, uh, the top patrons being Samuel, Louise, Luce, Samantha, Cheryl, Yitzun, Shirley, Tamara and Alex. Thank you ever so much for everything that you do. I uh, hope you enjoyed the little bit of bonus content on um, Patreon last week. There will be something else coming up this week as well. Alright, but you guys have a good week, and I will catch you not next week, but the week after for our Pushing Back the Shadows videos. Take care, guys. Thank you.